Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to this week's Head Teacher Bulletin for week commencing the 8th of May. Bit of a short week this week, so let's get going. So this week's gospel explains that Jesus is a guide for us and he shows us a way in our lives. Um, Jesus explains to his friends that he is the son of God. He is the way, the truth and the life. So by knowing and loving Jesus, the disciples also love God, uh, the father. His friends, Thomas and Philip, contradict and challenge Jesus by saying that they don't know where Jesus is going and how to get there. Jesus reassures them and just says that they have seen and known Jesus, so they've also seen and known the father. He tells his disciples not to worry, to trust him. And if we trust someone, we believe they will always be there for us and that they are always willing to help us and they'll comfort us if we're frightened, upset and they'll never let us down. That's what we've been focusing on this week with our pupils. You know, we're there for pupils to trust us. We're there for the support. We're there for the comfort. So the theme this week within the gospel uh, mirrors that of what Jesus has told his disciples. Um, and by loving one another and doing what is right, we're doing what God wants us to do. So some really good news um, last week. So well done to all our students who competed in the Northampton Schools Athletics Championships. Uh, it was on Friday last week. It was a really well organised event. The whole PE department were there with, with our students uh, supporting the school. And we had some fantastic individual and team successes uh, on the podium places. So well done to everyone involved and thank you to the PE department uh, for organising and supporting. Um, year 11 and 13 prom is um, up and coming in the next few weeks. Um, basically, we're, we're asking for some support, really. So we're collecting donations of prom dresses, suits, shoes and accessories to help out. Um, there is a bit of a cost of living crisis and, you know, we're, we're there to support our pupils in um, having a real good um, event planned. So any donations will be gratefully received. Just drop them to the front office um, and we will make use of those uh, to support our pupils for the prom. Work experience was really positive last week. Uh, a big well done and thank you for all year 10s who were either out on work experience or within school um, supporting the work ex experience activities that occurred. I had some overwhelming positive feedback uh, from the work experience organisers and employers. Um, really uh, positive testimonials that come through, 100% um, engagement for all our pupils um, and even one, one pupil successfully uh, managed to obtain employment uh, through the work experience. So a big well done and a thank you for representing the school out in the community and upholding our, our core values. Linked to work experience and um, this week's assembly, Mr Gidding has um, focused on our commitment to learning and explaining to people what that commitment to learning looks like here at Thomas Beckett. And again, really proud with our pupils demonstrating this commitment. Um, and in particular in year 10 assembly today, um, I went in to congratulate them on the testimonials and positive feedback that I received. So a big well done and thank you for supporting the work experience last week. Uh, we look forward to obviously organising it again next year. So the exam season is uh, well and truly upon us. Uh, exams are starting this week, in particular Monday the 15th of May is the first big exam, GCSE exam for um, our RE. Um, so the question is, are you ready? So we've been supporting pupils over the past few weeks to get ready for their exams. They have all their exam timetables, they've got their seat allocation, um, their equipment for exams are ready, so their calculators, pens, pencils, etc. are all available within the exam hall. What we ask is your support in making sure pupils are here on time. So the school day starts at 8.35. We expect pupils to be here at 8.35, ready for lining up and registering for the exams. Exams in the morning start at 9am. So it's really important and imperative that pupils arrive to school on time, ready to start their exam. If they want to come to school even earlier, we've got breakfast provision at, from 8am, uh, free bagels, and there's been cereal bars and uh, breakfast products available to get them ready and have the energy to, to get, get through those exams. So, you know, it's going to be a tough six weeks. Um, after May half term, it's really busy. There's lots of exams in, on consecutive days. Um, but we're here, we're on hand if you need any support, if pupils um, are struggling uh, with their um, exams, just they need to speak to their form tutor first and foremost or their head of year. But, you know, a big plea for your support in making sure punctual students are here on time and well equipped for their exams. And finally, just a reminder of our key dates uh, for this week. So tonight we've got our year 12 parents evening, particularly for pupils who are studying BTEC qualifications. 
And next week, we've got our Year 10 Parents Evening on Thursday, the 18th of May. I think we've got 70% appointments booked for Year 10. So thank you for your support with that. We'll chase up the other 30% before Monday um, to hopefully have 100% attendance next week. In a year's time, those Year 10 pupils are going to be sitting their exams. So it's really important and valuable for parents to attend, obviously, Parents Evening to get an up-to-date um, picture of how uh, your son and daughter is progressing. So thank you. Take care. And we'll be back again next week.